Hi, I'm Scott Leslie, and today we're going to look at the Sekonic C800 Spectromaster Color Meter. Now, this is a really full-featured meter, but first let me tell you what it's not. It's not an exposure meter, so it won't tell you your f-stops, your shutter speed, or your ISO for your camera, but instead it's the ultra-precise color measuring tool. So why do you need a color measuring tool? Well, there's several ways that the Sekonic C800 can help your lighting. So first, it can measure the quality and the accuracy of your lights through CRI or TLCI or the new SSI or TM30. It also can compare up to four different lights and see how they differ. And the C800 will give you information on how to correct that difference. Now, it does this in two ways. It can tell you the exact Roscoe or Lee filter that you need to hit an exact color temperature. Or if you have an RGBW light or dual color light with plus or minus green, you can dial in the correction directly. Also, if you're using RGBW lights, you can use the C800 to help you match the color of a practical light or another colored fixture. Let's take a look. So one of the exciting features of the Sekonic C800 is the ability to match the color of your different instruments. So you can do this through uh, hue and saturation or XY coordinates if your light does that. All right, so I did this earlier. So what I have, I have four instruments back here. I have a, a, a 2K that's daylight only, but I have a green gel on it. And then I have a sky panel S60C, and then the, the Lupo full color 60, and then another uh, Lupo uh, full color 30. All right, so let me show you how I did this. So I just randomly changed uh, the color of all these lights. Uh, our 2K is gonna stay the same. That's gonna be our base light with the gel. So we're gonna match these other three lights up to the 2K. All right, so let's turn off all the other lights and just measure the 2K. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to the text settings. Now all these values can change, so just make sure you have the X, Y in here. Um, so then you just simply measure your X, Y coordinates. All right, so you can see right here, our X is uh, 1441 and our Y is 3013. So now we're gonna match these numbers to the Aries Sky Panel S60. So one thing that's really important is that you need to be on firmware four or above. So I just updated this one to firmware 4.1. Okay, so you need to make sure you're in the XY mode. So of course to do that, uh, you just cycle through your different modes. And as long as you have the new firmware, you'll see an XY mode. Okay, so we want the X to be 144.1. So what you're gonna do is bring this over to your X value, and we're gonna dial this into 1441. Okay, all right, it's 1441. Our Y value was 3013, so let's dial in the Y. Okay, so that's it, now we're matched. So now if we bring this around, you check it out, the light here and the light right here. Super similar. Do a quick reading here. Reading a 1508 and 3004, so it's super close. Okay, so now let's change it to the hue and saturation mode for the other lights. We could have also used this mode for the airy sky panel, but just the XY coordinates are much faster. So I'm gonna click on the X here and change that to hue and hit okay. And then click on the Y here and change that to saturation, hit okay. So now let's see what the hue and saturation is gonna be here. Saturation's at 100%, and the hue is 196 degrees. Now let's dial in the Super Panel Full Color 60. Obviously right now our light is really yellow um, versus the green we're going for. Put this in front of the light. So we're just dialing it in to, until we get 196. So this is why this mode takes a little longer. You gotta get it pretty close. It's really hard to get it exactly. Okay, there's 196. Saturation is at 100. You can see that the lights now are super similar. Now let's try to do the same thing with the Lupo Full Color 30. We're trying to dial in 196. We're looking for 196. Okay, there it jumped to 195. Actually, it went up to 197. We're 197 at saturation of 100. All right, so now these lights are now matching. One interesting point is the hue now on this lamp is reading at 141, where the other lamp read 138. So as you can see, these two lamps aren't matching up exactly. By using the meter, you can dial it in to be the exact same color instead of relying on the readout here. Now that's how easy it is to match the color of your RGBW lights. But what about CCT or dual color mode? That's what you're using 90% of the time. The LED revolution has come and it's here to stay in the lighting industry. And with the proliferation of different brands, 
Matching your color throughout all these instruments can be challenging. Now with Siconic C800's multi-light feature, you can quickly measure your different instruments and see their offsets. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's check out the multi-light function. All right, let's turn that on. Okay, so in this function, you can measure up to four lights and uh, it'll tell you how different they are. All right, so I went ahead and measured all four of these lights. The 2K is around 5400K with a 0.7 magenta shift. The sky panel is, is just a little over 56K with a 0.2 green shift. The super panel full color 30 is just over 6200K when it's set to 5600. So that's definitely running hot, but uh, with no green magenta shift. The super panel full color 30 is just, again, just over 56K with a 0.3 magenta shift. What you can do, what's cool, is uh, let's say, okay, we want the sky panel to be our main light. So now that the sky panel is set to be the master, you could see the offset of each light. So this gives you a quick view of how different each of your instruments are. You can tweak each one of these lights in to be just the exact color temperature by messing with the plus and minus green and the dual color. So you measure your lights and you found that some aren't an exact match. Now there's a couple different ways that the Siconic C800 can help you bring them back into Unity. Okay, so first it can tell you the exact Roscoe or Leaf filters needed to hit a color target temperature. And then the second way is that if you have a dual color light that has a plus or minus green correction, you can dial in the color through using the Calvin temperature and the color correction number. Let's take a look. Okay, so now let's measure these in CCT mode. I have my 2K, which you can't change the color on. So I'm gonna set that as my base light and then dial in my other lights to it. The color temperature is 5440K. The color correction number is 1.5 magenta. So this definitely is a little bit of a magenta shift. So uh, we wanna tune this exact same number into these lights so they'll match. So let's turn on the sky panel. Go to CCT mode here. Okay, let's do a measurement. This is at 5300K. Okay, so we're gonna to try to get it to 5469. Okay, so right now we're at uh, 5432-ish K at the 0.5 green uh, color correction number. So let's tweak the green to we want it to be 1.5 magenta to match the 2K. Okay, right now we are at 5447 at 1.5 magenta. That'll match up to the 2K perfectly. Now let's tune in the Lupo Super Panel Full Color 60. Our target is around 5400K. So 5434 is definitely close enough. Let's dial in the magenta. Okay, here's 1.5 magenta, but notice that the CCT now has shifted. So let's correct that again. So 5404K, close enough, and let's add a touch more green. There we go. Okay, so now let's check it on our background here. These should all be the exact same color. So we go back to our white background and we know it's gonna hold. So basically the Calvin is staying right at uh, 53.5 the whole way down. And our color correction is 1.5M. So now thanks to the Seconic C800, I know that each one of my lights is exactly the same and it's putting out the exact same color temperature and the green magenta cast is the same. All right, so that gives me a really great confidence in going out there and lighting something like a white psych or white seamless and knowing that my colors are gonna match. So I did go into the multi-light function here and I measured each light. So if you see here, each light is very similar. They're all right around 5400K. Uh, 0.7 magenta here, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6. So all these lights are super similar and you would never see a difference. So this is a great way to measure your lights and make sure you're getting exactly what you hope. Now I've just touched the surface on what the Siconic C800 Spectromaster color meter can do. Now there's many other features that can help you evaluate your lights and the quality of color they're giving. Now this meter isn't cheap. It'll set you back almost $1,600. But with the proliferation of different lighting instruments, the Siconic C800 is a great way to make sure your lights are matching. Thanks for watching.